Hello everyone and welcome back to the lab. In this video, I'll be making a CO2 generator. The reaction of an acid and a carbonate or bicarbonate is a convenient method to produce carbon dioxide. I've listed here a few acids and a few carbonates and bicarbonates. Not all of these possible chemicals are ideal. For example, hydrochloric acid is fairly volatile. Hydrogen chloride will be a contaminant in the stream of carbon dioxide, so the stream has to be washed. Hydrofluoric acid also has this problem. In addition, it is highly toxic. Nitric acid is also very expensive. Carbonates like lithium carbonate or potassium carbonate aren't ideal because they are much more expensive than the cheaper alternatives. I have chosen this reaction because the reactants are very cheap. Sodium bisulfate reacts with sodium bicarbonate to give sodium sulfate, carbon dioxide, and water. For a 0.25 molar scale, I only need 21 grams of sodium bicarbonate and 34.5 grams of sodium bisulfate. The sodium bisulfate I have is impure, so I will need 37 grams of this. This scale will produce 0.25 moles of carbon dioxide, which is 11 grams, and approximately 5.9 liters of gas. I've now set up the generator. First, I have a round bottom flask with the two reactants. On top of this is an addition funnel with water. On top of the addition funnel is a drying tube packed with a small amount of calcium chloride. This leads to a hose which goes into a graduated cylinder filled with water. The calcium chloride will serve to remove any water that may be present in the carbon dioxide. Normally, I would fill this tube completely up to give very dry CO2. However, this is only a demonstration and I just put a little bit to show. Right now, the surface area between the two reactants is very small. Now I will turn on stirring in the flask to mix the powders. You can see the carbon dioxide has just begun bubbling. It's very difficult to mix the powders because they're solid and magnetic stirring is meant for liquids. The water in the addition funnel will now be dripped into the flask. This will mix the powders and they will dissolve. The first bit of water just dripped in. You can see it caused a very fast increase. The reaction I chose is good because there's nothing volatile that could make it into the stream of carbon dioxide. The only thing that could make it over is water, and this is easily removed by a drying tube. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.